So this is happening. What's up guys, it's Cody here. And today we're gonna be talking about the iOS 10.1.1 jailbreak. Yes, we're gonna talk about the iOS 10 jailbreak. Oh my God, I'm so excited. You are gonna be too. All right, so let's just jump into this and just get this all out there. I want you guys to know exactly what's going on. So the Project Zero team has just released a kernel and root exploit for iOS 10.1.1, but don't go get all hot and bothered just yet. So the kernel and root exploit is definitely a step in the right direction, but are we gonna be able to jailbreak with this? Kind of, not everybody. Everybody shouldn't use this. And just because this is going to work out of the box for only two devices because it's only been tested on two separate kernels. That's gonna be the iPod Touch 6th gen and the iPad mini 2 running iOS 10.1.1. So first question, does this work with other devices? Possibly yes. Now it's only been tested on two devices, those two that I mentioned, so it's only been tested on those two different kernels. But Project Zero actually mentions if you change some offsets, then this could possibly work on other devices as well, but it hasn't been tested. So I absolutely do not recommend inexperienced users to be jacking with this unless you have a spare device to mess with it on. Something else to mention is this is not, absolutely not, a stable jailbreak. This is not something for inexperienced users to be jacking with just because you don't want to mess up your device. Now, if you have a spare device, like a test device or something like that, then yeah, go ahead and test it out, check it out, mess with it, see what you can find. But at the same time, we're going to have to wait for a fully polished jailbreak tool. Which brings me to some more exciting news that I'm going to share with you guys. And if you guys haven't heard of, uh, whatever that dude's name is, QWERTY, QWERTY bro, I'm gonna call him QWERTY bro because I can't remember his name. QWERTY bro just tweeted, let me look at this. There's a high chance I will take up whatever Project Zero drops and write a full jailbreak on top of it. Stay on iOS 10.1.1, especially on your iPhone 7. So, if that is not encouraging news, I don't know what is. So, QWERTY bro is a guy that's already absolutely 100% jailbroken some devices in the past. He hasn't actually released any of them, and he doesn't say he's releasing this one, but it sure does sound like he's going to because he's telling people to stay on iOS 10.1.1, even if you're on the iPhone 7. So that would be absolutely fantastic. Almost fell. Gonna learn to stand real quick. Be right back. So that would be absolutely fantastic if I could jailbreak my iPhone 7 on iOS 10.1. That'd make me dance like this. So, the next question, when's it going to be released? I don't know. Nobody knows. Nobody ever knows. You can ask till the cows come home. Nobody's ever going to give you a date. It, and if they do, they're lying. Because nobody ever knows when a jailbreak is going to be released other than the actual person that's developing it or the team that's developing it. So, and they don't hardly ever know. I'm just saying. Top comment guaranteed on this video, when is iOS 10.1.1 jailbreak going to be released? You mother. Next question. Should I update if I'm on iOS 9.3.3, which is the latest firmware for jailbreaking, and update to iOS 10.1.1? That's a hard question to answer. If it was me, I probably would because iOS 10.1.1 signing window is probably, is very, very likely, almost guaranteed to close sometime this week. That means that after this week, you are not going to be able to get your device on iOS 10.1.1 just because Apple's gonna stop signing it. So you can't downgrade to it and you can't upgrade to it. So that's the question that we're gonna to have to ask ourselves. So for me, if I was a gambling man and I had one device and I wanted iOS 10 and I wanted to be jailbroken, I would upgrade. But if I wasn't a gambling man and I wanted to, for a fact, 100% have a jailbreak on my device, I wouldn't upgrade. And I would stay on iOS 9.3.3 because it's a solid jailbreak, it's stable, has tweaks that are compatible, and you continue to jailbreak your device and use all the tweaks and themes and all that good stuff. But that iOS 10 jailbreak is going to be pretty dope, if I do say so myself. With all the new animations, all the new UI changes on iOS 10, I can definitely see some really cool stuff coming out of the iOS 10 jailbreak. Next question. I guarantee there's at least like 10 people that didn't watch all the way to this point of the video and they're already typing this motherfucking question out. 
down in the comments below. You guys will probably see it. Does or will this jailbreak work on 32-bit devices? Well, I can tell you that we got another tweet from QWERTY Bro, and he says, I don't have to look at my phone, I know what it says. Somebody asked whether or not the jailbreak is gonna work on 32-bit devices. He responded with, nobody cares about 32-bit devices. So, what does that mean? That means that they're phasing that out. There's a, it's a completely different architecture, so it takes a whole lot more time to jailbreak those devices when the majority of people are on 64-bit devices. So, unfortunately, if you have an older device and a 32-bit device, it's probably not gonna work on iOS 10.1.1. So, I know that sucks for people that only have 32-bit devices. I'm sorry, I can't do anything to help you. You can complain in the comments if you want to, but it's not gonna help. And last but not least, if you guys are wondering, well, where the hell have you been, Cody? Why aren't you uploading videos anymore, Cody? I thought you were dead, Cody. I've just been doing a lot of stuff. I work a lot. I have another job, if you guys don't know. Everybody thinks I only do YouTube. I don't just do YouTube. I got a job, but I'm kicking it back up right now. Just moved, so this is a new place. You probably can't even tell a difference, except the curtains are different. Or, there's no curtains back there. But I just moved, I just went on, I just got back from traveling not very long ago. I'm working like crazy at my real job. This is a real job too, I guess, but whatever. So I've just been really, really low on time to make videos. But I can tell you that I am completely moved in. I'm done traveling right now. I, whatever, who gives a shit? I'm gonna be uploading more videos very soon. I can come home and do YouTube now and I'm like, so ecstatic that I can start ramping up the videos on the channel again just so I can get back on that regular schedule where I was doing like three four videos a week if I can do more I'm gonna do more if I can't I'm just gonna do as much as I can but that's all I got for this video hope you guys enjoyed it of course if you guys want to stay up to date with everything jailbreak make sure you follow me on Twitter of course if you guys want to stay up to date with jailbreak by using my face that doesn't those aren't the right words in the correct order neither was that but if you want to see my face talk to you about jailbreak updates, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video.